Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spectacle. Alright, so it turns out, we do need to go this way to the cave, but look closely. Do you notice anything? I should have noticed it. This small boulder seems to have been moved recently. It's too heavy to move by hand, though. Go figure. You speak the magic words, and the rock magically ra raises into the air. You go in this way. All right. Ooh, the cave of Alibaba. And the 40 thieves. This ancient ladder leads up into the base of the tower. Many cavens have blocked the main entrance to this cave, which was which was once used by thieves to sneak into the tower above. No to head but up. Thieves tunnel. And check it out. Boom. Shovel. A worn down shovel, but still usable. This appears to be all that remains from an expedition. Sweet. Alright, that opens up a couple of things. Because you know there's at least two different spots I gotta dig. I might check the whole island, though, to make sure I didn't miss any, uh, any other spots. Stonework suggests that this is the foundation of the tower. Likely used as a cellar, there is a door to enter the tower proper. The ladder leads back down into the cave below. Alright, I don't see anything else. Besides like these weird like mushroom things. Brigand's shelter. Alright, another book. The room appears to be a storage area for barrels of what may be wine. Well, let's just find out for ourselves. Where's my saber? Cut into the wine. Have a drink. We're drinking on the job. There's a large book on the table. Alright, what riddle do you have for me this time? Thief's Diary. We overheard a tale of a star falling from the heavens in the night sky when viewed from, a, from the highest point. We climbed on high, but we suppose ours were not the eyes meant to witness such splendor. I have grown to hate this place. We've suffered. Attrition. We suffered attrition by boulders, scorpions, snakes, and even loose ladder rungs. We have, just, we have had just about enough of this tower. It is so corrupted. Now, well, that didn't really do much for me. I don't want the book anyways. Proceed further up the tower through this hallway. Okay. Sends base. So we came up through here. The shelf is empty, but the wall behind you is hollow. You just have to figure out how to access it. There is an unlocked trapdoor in the floor. Well, emphasis on the word trap. Don't trust that at all base of the earthen tower, it seems to be made of clay over a wooden frame. There's a ladder embedded in the wall. Well, you grab the handle and lift the trapdoor, revealing a hole. Why not? We've done it everywhere else so far. You tumble into the trapdoor. You fall and die in the darkness below. Well, can't say I'm surprised. I like the little... Alright, let's see... I maybe need to put something there. Put the saber? The abacus. Put that there. No. Nope. Sacred bow. Turn rock, fruit, shovel. That won't do anything. The broken instrument. Alright, I don't know what to do with that yet. Let's try going up because I don't know what to do. There is a figure in the room with you. Oh, you know what? When she said that she had an ally that'll help you fix, in my mind, I was thinking south in the map from when, like, we spoke to her. I just realized, it's this whole side of it, this must be the person that I was looking for. There's a figure in the room with you. Such a magnificent tower, it must have been home to quite a few treasures at one point. Especially also since we know that the compass is facing, you know, its turn, so south is, you know, to the right on our screens, it makes so much more sense now. I was looking the whole time down near that ritual area, expecting somebody to like be there at a random time, you know? You see, you see only the sky as you ascend higher up the tower. So figure the room with you. Well, let's talk. Can you help me? You are quite clever to have made it this far. This tower holds great significance to this kingdom. In these final years, it saw only tragedy when our young prince was lured here by that awful wizard. The child's death was too much and weakened the king's resolve, enabling the groundwork for the curse to return. The chaos and confusion was a veil under which the evil one stole the magic lamp. The genie within, through cunning, 
condemned the usurper to rule over an otherworldly spectacle with only enough magic to bring about awe and simple admiration. Ah, the circus. But even now, in his limited capacity, he is regaining his powers and soon will do to your land what he has done to mine. Hey, the instrument! The instrument! You son of a bitch! Fix my shit! Aren't you supposed to be the person who fixes my instrument? Which God knows why I need that fix. I just, I assume it's useful for something. They just like to talk and then just snap their fingers and then they're just gone. How rude. Oh shit, that sound caught me by surprise. And Jason's climb, great. What we got here? Uh, you see only the sky? Yes. You wonder how such a tall structure could have been built, but more importantly, why is there a fucking snake here? Oh, actually, why would such a fierce snake be given a home way up here? I legit didn't even read the rest of the sentence, and it actually focuses on that. It knew what I was thinking. It's like, oh, it's a tall structure, but more importantly, holy fuck, it's a snake! The deadly cobra sits at the base of the ladder. Any sudden movement could provoke it. It looks ready to strike. Well, I say, oh god! The cobra strikes with lightning speed. It bites you multiple times, and you die. Sweet. This is the end for you. Alright. Here's the solution. Get up, bird! No! Rock is supposed to eat him. Alright, well, that doesn't work. I don't think the shovel's gonna work. I don't think he's gonna care about the fruit. Lantern... Taste my pole arm! The pole arm is very unwieldy and slow to swing, giving the cobra ample time to strike. Cobra strikes it low and multiplies. Yeah, okay. It actually has flavor text for that, though. I appreciate that. Alright, look, look. Maybe we just- Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. Here, here, let me teach you how to use this abacus. Do you like math? Come on, aw, oh, come on, man. Guess he hates math. Probably more of like a history kind of guy. Maybe physical ed. Who knows? Plate, Abacus, sacred. Take that! I thought maybe that something about it being sacred would like ward off the cobra. Alright, how do I deal with this dickhead? I keep climbing down the thing. I should honestly click on the screen. I don't have to keep using the map down here. I just kind of do it out of habit. None of this crap is going to help. So you know what we're going to do? We will go ahead and not go, not go down there. Uh, because we have the shovel now. So let's... Let's go digging. Let's see. You know what? Why even read? Just use the shovel everywhere. Who cares? Let's just hope that the shovel works randomly wherever I use it. I know there's nothing here. Okay, down here is one of them. Use the shovel. At you guys can't see it, but I'm face palming right now. Uh, as soon as your shovel pierces the ground, the cliff edge gives way, and you fall over the edge of the cliff. You know, I somehow thought that that was going to kind of be what it does, what it was going to be. Like, you dig it, it's like, okay, well, now it's, it's creating a death area, and uh, you're going to have to, like, trick something here, and it's going to fall. No, you just do it to yourself. I got an achievement for it, though, didn't I? Okay, so that's a, uh, that's a red herring. Over here is where it actually needs to be used. No, I guarantee you I can shovel this. I saw a text before. Wasn't there a thing I could shovel here? One of these screens. Here. There. You dig up some soft soil and uncover a buried chest. Look at the color of the key. Or the lock. Sturdy chest. It is locked. The keyhole has a red trim around it. We can't take it. But we've got the key. We've used blue. We've used red. We have not used the yellow key yet, though. He unlocks the old chest, and with a click, its contents are ready to be plundered. What is this, pirate talk? Yar! I got ye booty! There are two items in the chest. Yar! You take the gem in hand. The Blossomy Gem! 
And the scroll! Three. Notes of a Vizier Three. For my third task, I have been honored to safeguard the greatest treasure of our king, his beloved lamp. Okay, we just read about this. Or, she told us about it. That is well hidden and guarded with utmost, tre utmost measures, a place wrought with pure darkness and sentineled by an apparition. So the pure darkness we can handle, that's what the lantern's for. Not so much the apparition, maybe the sacred uh, bow. Maybe that'll ward it off. With a lust for with a lust for wind that shall snuff out any flame, and that's why we need the lantern. You can't use uh, fire. Give pause to all but the one who dons the king's sacred mantle. Give pause to all but one who dons the king's sacred mantle. Again, the sacred bow. Can I use it on myself? No, but I'm almost certain the sacred bow is what I need along with the lantern to get through wherever that is. Now this Blothny gem, the jewel unlike any you've ever seen, staring at it you can swear you see the cosmos. What do I do with this gem? Use it on the, the cobra where we get distracted by it? Try to go back to the Cobra, I guess. There wasn't anything else here, right? I don't think there's anywhere else to dig. No, I don't mean to examine. I need to move. Yeah, clicking. Oh, what do you mean I can't go there? That's that was weird. There's that shelving unit. Stare at my gem. Nah, you give no shits about the gem. You have no interest in money. Well, shit. This shelf here. The shelf is empty, but the wall behind feels hollow. Just have to figure out how to access it. Hold up, did I even try using a spell? Nothing happens. How about, oh, open sesame. No. Of all the spells, is this reverse chain one really only used that one time? It's kind of a waste. I know this is a one-time thing, or one purpose, but I mean, that's for quick travel. I'm fine with that. This one was kind of a waste, in terms of that. They, these actually, like, do multiple things. No, I say a waste, but I mean, whatever. It's part of the puzzle. Can I put something here? Put the Blothny gem here? Lantern scroll. I'm trying to think if just putting anything here does anything. I don't think it's going to. I already tried the saber here. That doesn't work. I still have no idea what. I assume that the instrument goes here, maybe. There's no spells for me. Thinking I might have to do some wandering again. What if I freeze him? Nah, he didn't give a shit. It's kind of weird. Certain bugs and stuff, like, they freeze, but other stuff, they, they don't care about time being frozen. It feels inconsistent, but maybe I'm not realizing the difference between things. I don't know. I don't have anything else that I haven't tried that will get me past this guy. I don't know. Maybe I, just, I thought maybe to talk to him. Well. Alright, I'm gonna do some wandering and... Uh, I'll, I'll be right back after I figure out what some next steps are. Be right back. Okay, so I think the clue to this is the journal, the diary from the thief that mentions about the loose rungs of the thing. Look carefully at this. You see this loose one here? This one rung has been tampered with. It feels loose. Should have... Maybe should have caught that, I guess, but sometimes it's so hard to notice those little differences to see if that actually matters or not. But, I mean, you look at the rungs, it is true. It was the only one that was off, or out of place. 
So you grab the loose rung and slide it to the side, revealing a secret compartment behind the shelf. A flute sits upon the shelf in the compartment, and what can we do with a flute? You reach into the compartment and take out the ornate flute. Makes sense. Let's see, let's look at the flute here. A flute curiously carved from what seems to be a type of gourd. Use it on the snake. You play the flute and the cobra reacts strongly to the soothing melody. Cobra remains fixated and, entr and entranced. It's still not safe to go past, but you should take advantage. Strike fast and finish it off. Now it says strike fast. I don't know if the pole arm's fast enough. That always says it's unwieldy, so let's use the saber. There we go. While your reflexes are no match for the cobra, as you take advantage of the cobra's trance and swing the saber, killing it. All right. Look at that blood. Cobra is dead. You can safely continue up the tower. Can I take it and cook it and eat it later? No. A fingernail of Gaia. Where are we? The view from this height is incredible. You can see parts of both the northern and southern lands. Now, what did it say? The journal said something. Maybe it mentioned a time. Heard a tale of a star falling from the heavens when we reach for the highest points. That's where we need to be. Suppose you're not eyes for splendor. I've grown to hate this place. We've suffered. Christian by boulders, scorpions, snakes, even loose ladder rungs. We've seen the boulders. We've seen the snakes and the loose ladder rung. I haven't seen scorpions yet, and that worries me. Okay. I'm feeling like I just need to be up here at a certain time. Uh, uh, that's the. Uh... What the hell? It didn't kill me, I don't think. A, uh, a beautiful shooting star falls to Earth and crashes into the ground with a deafening crash. It sounded like the impact was close. Okay, it randomly happened at this time. I'll take it. <laughs> I clicked too fast. I just saw the next hole and I clicked it. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, damn it. That's funny. No big deal. I might as well just kill myself with the boulder while I'm out of here. Uh, I, I'll leave you alone. Somewhere else. Oh god, it plowed on through. Look at that. It looks like a piece of the meteor fell off when it crashed into the ground. Meteor shard. With hesitation, you reach out and grab the shard of meteorite. As you touch it, you feel a jolt of power that scares you. Still, you decide to take the gem with you. Okay. A piece of celestial rock that has fallen through space. What the hell? Whoa, check that out. Meteor glows with dangerous energy. You can feel the heat from several feet away. Well, this is gonna kill me. You decide to try to take the gem in the meteor. Your hand trembles as you reach out. The other gem in your hand glows as you grab its partner. The gem's resonant energy has protected you. You take the other meteorite shard. Oh, could I have killed myself if I didn't have the thing? Oh, what was that gonna be like? Can I load? If I load... Where did I last save? Did I already grab the shard? I already grabbed it. No! Well, we're never gonna know what that's like. Fuck. Nah, you take the other shard. Damn it. Well, I would've died in some fashion. Oh well. Can I keep taking? Oh, there we go. You grab at the meteor again, but the power is too much for you, and you are instantly vaporized. That's gotta be what happens. I feel better now. <laughs> I killed myself. I feel better now. 
Oh, uh, only in a game can you say that. Oh, that's funny. Okay. What the hell are- I don't, I don't know what these are for, though. I've got some meteor shards, but okay, so what? So there's nothing left for me to take. I still don't know how to get inside the, the whatchamacallit. Okay, let's assess. The tower, I think, is pretty much cleared. We took everything that I could see along the way, talked to them. We didn't fix our instruments, so who the hell knows where that gets fixed. The creature's out of our way. We have the path to the palace, but it's locked. Uh, the digging spots are dealt with. I don't know. I don't know what's next. I'll figure out what the next thing is. Uh, it's it's got to be. We got to be getting into that palace soon, and that's got to be end game right there. We got to get to that lamp. So we know what our goal is now. Anyways, I'll figure it out uh, between now and the next part. I'll see you guys then.